my paper, I'm going to present an international project uh, in which uh, ad our, my university, Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznan, participates. Uh, the project is related, related to managing big data in archaeology, and uh, it will be rather brief presentation due to limited time, so my presentation also will be around eight minutes. Uh, and I will do that in the three short following steps. So um, let's start with a short introduction to the project. Um, Seishat, uh, the Global History Data Bank, is a massive international uh, database of uh, information on past societies. It was founded in 2011 as a response of necessity of organization of vast amount of data collected by historians. So it was born on the ground of history first. Here you've got the project website, so I encourage everyone to just open and uh, uh, you can find uh, every information on the project. Um, so what is Seishat? It's a very comprehensive data bank that comprises different variables, uh, uh, different aspects of uh, past societies, like social, economic, ritual, warfare, and uh, track the development of these uh, aspects through time in a selected areas. It's therefore designed to, uh, as a general tool uh, for identifying long-term trends and uh, ask, uh, asking uh, big questions. Uh, and moreover, uh, this is a tool uh, for uh, testing various hypotheses and theories about the uh, social evolution and historical dynamics. Uh, in the future, it will become a very, pot uh, very powerful tool that uh, allow users to ask a very broad set of questions about the past. Uh, Seishat extracts data from uh, different sources, websites, academic publications, um, uh, human experts. And uh, the long-term goal, uh, it's, it's very ambitious actually, because uh, the long-term goal is to incorporate uh, the data of all uh, human past societies. Uh, and at the moment, uh, the Seishat database uh, is um, running on a wiki engine. So uh, the similar, the same as Wikipedia, uh, which allows great flex flexibility and a large number of users working uh, on the database. However, as I will show you in a moment, it will change in the future. So the, the plan is uh, to, to move to, to some very advanced uh, IT uh, scheme. So, uh, on the ground of Seishat, the uh, Global History Data Bank, uh, archaeological Seishat was born. Uh, when, after a long discussion uh, and the practice of, of uh, collecting data, we re realized um, that uh, actually Seishat lacked of, on, uh, some, of some important archaeological uh, variables. Uh, and also we lacked uh, some proxies that could uh, translate the archaeological data into the, this uh, Seishat coding uh, data collecting template. So actually the, the archaeological Seishat uh, developed in a few stages. Uh, I don't have time to, to describe this in detail. I need to mention the Oxford team. So they, the team from Oxford University initiated the discussion. So people like uh, Peter Terchin or Harvey Whitehouse, they, they started the, this uh, initiative to create archaeological session. Uh, we also uh, have a couple of meetings uh, on, uh, on which uh, we discuss the, the um, archaeological session. And uh, I have to mention that now and uh, in the future, quite a number of people around the world at teams uh, from different uh, institutions, volunteers, uh, have been working on it. And uh, we still uh, are looking for, for some more um, volunteers. So um, here you just uh, a couple of examples of the key archaeological categories that uh, were generated as a result of those discussions. Uh, so, so just an, uh, like examples, what sa set of questions we are asking, we are looking for uh, while uh, collecting the data. And uh, just, uh, we don't have much time, but uh, I want to show you uh, just a quick look what we are doing uh, 
in Poznan, how we uh, employ Seychat, uh, archaeological Seychat in practice. So we selected um, around 70 areas uh, through, um, through Near East, um, from the Near East through Anatolia, Balkans, and uh, Central Europe, and we are tracing the development of Neolithic way of life. Uh, and the collected data in the future will allow us to test di di different hypotheses concerning the spreading of uh, Neolithic and uh, uh, tracing different changes uh, in different aspects. So later on, if you have any questions about uh, the practice, I I'm happy to answer them. So, and the final part, um, what is the future of Seychat? So Seychat is uh, one of the use case of the bigger uh, European project called Align. So Aligned is a European Union uh, project that uh, began in uh, 2015 and it will end in January 2018, so pretty soon. So the main focus of Aligned project is uh, developing methods, uh, tools um, uh, for engineering uh, information systems. And, uh, in terms of Seychat, uh, so Align will help us to develop a platform for, for a Seychat database. So uh, we are going to transfer Seychat from wiki uh, format uh, into the RDF standard, and the Seychat data will be stored in a triple store database. Uh, so, and uh, okay, one of those tools is uh, Dacura, so uh, um, created and managed by uh, Trinity College uh, Dublin. Uh, so it, it's a great example of a tool who will allow us to to make uh, this data gathering process more uh, quick, more effective, and. Uh, well, yes, and uh, actually, I need to mention that uh, that we already uh, managed to, to because uh, the program is in the making, but we managed to release a uh, first portion of data in this new RDF format. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, th this th those tools will allow us to to uh, move away from manual data harvesting. Uh, they would uh, speed up the ga gathering process and uh, later also querying and searching for the information. Uh, those tools are based on idea that um, the tools are um, mm, allow us to, to go over large uh, digital text amount and search for re relevant information. And also the, the, those tools would structure the data gathering process, uh, which would uh, keep track of data quality and information quality. So um, to sum up, in the future, Seychat uh, will become an extremely powerful and so one of the, well, let's say, uh, let's face it, uh, one of the largest uh, data bank on human history and prehistory. Uh, it will incorpor incorporate tools for automatic har harvesting of data from internet accessible sources, databases like, for example, JSTOR. Uh, it will allow us um, to look through vast amount of data and test uh, different theories on uh, social evolution. Okay, uh, that will be it. Thank you. <laughs>